with our first and fourth slide we will now move on to our slide number eight and nine all right so we'll just duplicate this fourth slide Control d and delete everything else there you go so i just copied the text and the other elements that i've got from the internet and this element cyberpunk element that i've created um from the original powerpoint so the thing here is that i'm going to teach you how to do this there i'm going to teach you on how to do this rotating disk here on our spider-verse powerpoint template all right so the original position or the default position of this by the way i got it from the internet so the original position of this is like this like it basically flat this spider-man logo but i think here's how we will create a bunch of this but we will try to um rearrange the position of it so right click on it go to format picture and go ahead and click the 3d rotation and just basically create the rotation that you would like to do so i just randomly literally randomly click um all of this and reposition this spider-man logo right over here so here how it goes so for an instance we have this um spider-man logo right over here so we will duplicate it our fifth slide so here on our sixth slide we will now rotate this um spider-man disc again so going back to its original position here we go and let's put it right over here so here how it goes so when you hit the morph transition effect it will look like this there you go that's what i'm talking about but the thing here is that we will not just be using like a single spider-man logo but plenty of them all right so on our fifth slide i created a bunch of the spider-man logo disc right over here and what i'm going to do for our sixth slide is just to do the same however i will click all of these there you go and move it right over here once again i will change the rotation of these pyramid logos basically each of these logos will have their different angles or position once again so here's a speed run tutorial for this there you go so here's the final look for this um spider-man logo and we will just hit the more transition effect there you go that's how you do it. let's say push transition for our fifth slide all right so we are now moving on to the 12 13 14 and 15 slide so i will just show you the speed run tutorial on how i created the elements of each and every slides and i will comprehensively teach you on how you could arrange all of these um, slides for the morph transition effect there you go so i just copied the text from the original template and for these two shapes right over here they have their own animation so and in order for them to have the spinning animation until the next slide so i just click right click on this animation pane go to effect option and in here we will go to the timing and hit the five seconds for the duration for both of them and under the repeat section we will click until end of slide hit ok i just do the same thing um here on the other shape so this is our seventh slide now we are moving on to the next one which would be the comic style layout of our spider-man powerpoint template all right so for this slide i've just copied everything from the original template so in here these are just basically shapes and yeah everything else just um merge shapes so in order for us to have a morph transition entrance for this slide we will just copy this box this box copy that and we will paste it here on the seventh slide so we will just move it once again outside from our slide just like this there you go we will just hit the morph transition effect for our slide number eight all right so the next thing that we need to do is that we will just duplicate the eighth slide and remove these four boxes right over here and reposition everything else as the layout that we have from the original there one. you go so i just copied the text from the original um slide now moving on to the final slide we'll just duplicate it and let's try to reposition everything else once again 
Alright, so the last thing that we need to do is just to add our page inside of this comic text. So let's say this is color white and let's try to um, reposition the angle of it just like that and move it backwards. There you go. And we'll just duplicate it and for its shadow, let's try to have like a darker red for the page. And set it to back as well. And then let's try to rearrange the position of it just like that or you could decide on your own so basically just like this and it's all up to you if you would like to insert your video right over here but for me i'll just put some text later on but we are not yet done for the morph transition effect we'll just copy that and paste it on our ninth slide and send them to back just like that and move it downward right over here and arrange the angle of these two squares all right and then on our 10th slide we will just have this morph transition effect there you go so let's try to let's try to have like different arrangement of this of this rectangle and there you go i think that's definitely perfect so it's all up to you if you like to insert your video right over here and yeah i think we are done and let's see what we have here so far so make sure that you have a morph transition effect for these slides, these slides, and these slides. So far, we have created this. And there you go. I just taught you the essentials of my Spider-Verse PowerPoint template. And if you've learned something, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, that would be highly appreciated. And please do not forget to comment down your suggestions for what would be our next inspired PowerPoint template. And I will try to create them for you guys. Definitely will give them for free. And that's it for today's tutorial. Keep safe and thank you so much for watching this video.